on how I'm running faster and uh, how I'm running higher frame rates on Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Had a couple questions about it. I made a live stream earlier, but I wanted to show you the settings I'm using in MSI Afterburner and the BIOS. Now I'm using MSI Motherboard Z270. So I am using the OC Genie uh, for the overclock of 4.5, which I'm going to show you here as soon as I get away from this person. Well, if I die, I'll just start over. But uh, just real quick here. This is what I'm using in Afterburner. Uh, I've got the power limit set at 105. Temperature automatically goes up with that to 86. That's probably me dying in the background. I got the core clock plus 165, memory clock plus 300. Uh, fan is still on auto. Now you could go much more uh, intense than that. That's just what I've got. I think it runs good. The MSI BIOS, uh, it's just one click. I've got XMP on for the uh, RAM, which is Patriot 3000 megahertz RAM. Got the OC Genie on, 4.5 gigahertz. The voltage is a little high with that, but it seems to run good. Um, so now on to the game. Now in the game settings, I'm running uh, full screen window, 1080p, um, screen scale 100, high anti-aliasing, ultra post processing, medi medium shadows. Everything else is ultra, no motion blur. Nothing else special that I'm running in any way, shape, or form. Uh, just the hardware itself is probably pretty good for this game. Again, it's the i5 7600K. It's a GTX 1070 gigabyte mini. GPU, MSI Z270 Plus motherboard. I'm sorry, Z270 SLI motherboard. Uh, but I am not running SLI. Running, like I said, Patriot 3000 RAM DDR4. The only kind of RAM that will fit in that uh, KB Lake motherboard. I'm running um, SSD by Crucial and a one terabyte. Just regular Western Digital Blue hard drive, and that's what this game's installed. It's not even installed on the SSD. Windows 10 Pro. Like I said, nothing, nothing special. Um, so I had some of the guys with the i7 asking me, you know, how come they weren't getting as good of frame rates? And I really think the shadows in this game has a big thing to do with it. I run those on medium. You can even gain a few more frames by dropping that to low or very low. Uh, I just think on very low, the game does not look good. So I, I didn't want to compromise with that, or could be getting some better frames. So. Up to around 100 in the houses. Um, in the cities in the houses, it will not be 100. It will go lower due to the population. But, uh, yeah, that's really about it. I'm not really doing anything special to get any other faster frame rates than that. And the overclock I've got on the GPU is an extremely minor one. Um, that core clock on it, memory clock, excuse me, should probably go one up to around 500. And I've got it set much lower than that. So, again, that's... That's what I'm at now, and uh, I'll play through this one match like this so you guys can kind of see how it runs at different spots. So, hope you enjoy. Not enough space. Let's get rid of the shotgun and take this. All right. It could be my awesome player skill. Could be why the frame rates are higher. I'm not really sure. No, if that was the case, I'd be running probably about 20 frames a second or less.
All right. And again, like I said earlier, the frame rate is definitely going to vary depending on where you're looking at and what, what's going on. If you're getting shot from behind, just like that. Oh, let's take off running away around the corner. Heal up. Could have healed up first. I might have made it. But anyway, that worked out well because I just wanted to make this short video to show you uh, what I was doing with frame rates. So I hope you liked that. If you need anything more in depth with it or need some help with it, let me know. Thanks.